All right, guys, this is Jason with uh, FPV Model. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to give you a general overview of the SkyZone Sky O2S V+. Uh, now, these are actually pretty similar to the older model of SkyZone goggles, but they made a few changes. Uh, and so the general idea is today we're just going to give you an update on uh, some of the changes they made and also let you know what they've kept the same. So uh, let's start off. Uh, first of all, these goggles are... 40 channel reception goggles, so you can get all of your, uh, all 40 channels that you typically see uh, being used today. Uh, they do come with HDMI input, which is kind of nice, but we'll uh, also move on to one of the drawbacks of this HDMI input in just a few mon moments. Uh, you've got auto search function. Uh, auto search is nice. It also comes with an RSSI indicator. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really show you that inside the goggles because the DVR does not, uh, the DVR does not record the actual menu screen of the goggles. It only records the uh, AVN and the uh, video from your transmitter also. So uh, resolution wise, you've got 854 by uh, 480, uh, you've, and it is a 5.8 gigahertz uh, diversity receiver. Uh, with this diversity receiver, you also have a head tracker that is built in. Uh, you also have a DVR. Uh, so you get a lot of those additional things you may have to pay for with other sets of goggles. Uh, you get them included all in one package here. So let's just go ahead and move over, open the box, and take a look at the goggles and explain some of the uh, explain some of the features that these come with so first of all uh, just like the old sky zone goggles these have a 30 degree uh, field of view we already mentioned the 854 by 480 uh, resolution and let's go ahead and open the box here pull these out and take a look on the bottom here with the uh, IPD adjustment. Uh, this IPD adjustment here is 59 millimeter uh, at the smallest point going out to 69 millimeters. So you do have some adjustment uh, to make up for the separation in your eyes so you can get a little better focus. Uh, we've already mentioned that they do have uh, dual uh, diversity receivers built in and these do uh, accept up to 40 channels and our older model um, our older model before uh, we were only at 32 and then a race band started getting popular so they moved over to 40 and this newer model also comes with the uh, 40 channel receivers built into it uh, like we mentioned there's also a head tracker that is built into the goggles, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, buying that separately, it does come with it. So if you'd like to uh, use head tracker on planes, uh, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do so with this. Uh, also, on the bottom of the goggles, there is a spot for a SD card to fit right in here, and this will take up to a 32 gigabyte card. Uh, as you can see on the bottom here, there are several things you can uh, several things you can plug into here. Uh, one is the HDMI in. Uh, although it is nice to have an HDMI in feature, uh, one of the uh, kind of one of the setbacks that some people may uh, find with this is the HDMI does not actually record in the DVR. So uh, if you are thinking about those also keep that in mind. Uh, this DVR is not fast enough to keep up with HDMI recording so it's only going to record the video from the AVN or the video for, from a typical receiver uh, or a typical transmitter from say a mini quad or a plane, something like that. Uh, you have your audio video out. So if your camera does have an onboard microphone, you can also, uh, you can also hear uh, these, you can also hear the sound coming from uh, coming from your quad in case you like to listen to your motors or something like that. Uh, also, here is the spot right here just for the uh, the audio coming if you want to use earbuds you can do that or if you actually want to just uh, connect an audio video out say connect it to a monitor or something like that you can also do so with this port here so uh, we do have a USB connection here you can uh, plug these in so just in case they have any uh, future updates to the firmware you can go ahead and uh, 
you can go ahead and update the firmware on these goggles too. Now, let's go ahead and move to some of the different changes on this. Uh, one thing with these goggles is they come with kind of the Una eye cup. Uh, but the new feature that they've also have here is the face mask. So if you like the uh, Fat Shark style of uh, face mask, you can go ahead, pull this eye cup off, place this uh, face mask adapter on here, and you do come with two separate options here. One is kind of a little vinyl covered uh, foam plate that you can fit into the uh, face mask. Now, once you get that in place, uh, kind of just gives you a little, uh, a little comfort there for whenever you're putting it up against your face. Uh, and it does also come with the typical uh, foam section that is actually a little softer and provides more cushioning than this black vinyl, vinyl piece does here. So it's up to you on which one you want to use. Uh, just in case you wear them out, uh, there will be replacements available too. So uh, let's go ahead and let's just move on to kind of the last thing. Uh, these goggles here will accept NT, uh, NTSC and PAL. So uh, you don't have to worry about buying a particular model. Uh, the compression ratio for the DVR is a MJPEG file at uh, 30 frames per second, and this is an AVI format. So, uh, what else could we say? Oh, and that's right, uh, power. Yeah, your uh, power on this. Uh, in order to power these goggles, uh, you actually have a wide variety of uh, battery uh, power options. So say if you want to use a 2S battery, that's okay. You can also use 3S. You can use 4S because these uh, goggles will accept being powered from 7 to 26 volt. So uh, there you have it. That's just the uh, general overview of the SkyZone goggles. Um, not really going to give you a look at the inside of the picture quality as all of that's pretty much the same as the, uh, as the older version. And it's a little difficult to try to fit a camera in here without losing the quality that you see. So uh, if you guys have done your research or you've used uh, SkyZone goggles before, uh, you'll already know uh, what the actual video quality looks like. Uh, we would make you a video with the DVR, but actually the DVR will lose uh, lose video quality too in the uh, compression of the video. So that's the general overlook and that's about it with this. Uh, this is just the basic goggle kit here. Uh, if you're into kind of the gimmicky 3D option with the uh, 3D camera and the 3D video transmitter, uh, you'll also be able to find that on our site. All right, so I uh, believe we've got that wrapped up and thanks for watching guys.